FederatCoach.com. What does bowl it out mean? This is an older technique of Nugas removal that's fallen out of favor. But I bring it up because I want to have the world's most complete cataract surgery library on Cataract Coach. So we have to include everything. This is just bowling it out. And the idea behind bowling it out is you rotate this nucleus and you're literally just making a bowl, sculpting a bowl in the nucleus. This lens is kind of soft, kind of hard to chop it. And you can see there's a big bowl in the middle of it. And the surgeon's rotating this around. Now, there are even surgeons who do this technique with one hand, don't use a second hand, and let's just bowl out the nucleus. And once the bowl is thin enough, the nucleus tends to collapse on itself. So, of course, this requires a lot more phaco energy because think about it, you've had to create this whole big bowl. So you're really not doing too much nucleofractus or breaking up the nucleus. So certain here keeps rotating it, good use of that second hand. And so getting this lens rotated, and then just aspirating, aspirating, trying to get something up, trying to get it to collapse on itself. And that's the bowling out technique. And there's some surgeons who still do this. If it makes you happy, please enjoy. I'm not going to stop you. But I think there are far more efficient ways than doing a bowl it out technique. So you see here, the bowl, if it's too thick like that, it doesn't want to collapse on itself. You have to get it thinned out. And the question is, well, when you're working so close to the posterior capsule, then is there a risk here? So rotating it again. And you can see it's not a very efficient technique. If we had done something like flip and chop, the case would be over by now. And so at this point, just rotating, rotating, just kind of debulking the nucleus little by little until it finally falls apart. You can you know, fold it on itself. Let me tell you about Cataract Coach, our teaching website. So much amazing material there. You have to check it out. And the podcast. Every week, there's a podcast with the sole purpose of making you a more successful ophthalmologist. You owe it to yourself. Check it out. Now, back to the case here, again, you still have to rotate it more and more and just debulking it more and more. And some surgeons literally do this with just one hand, don't even use a second hand. So at this point, you still have to debulk it more. You got to thin out the thickness of that bowl so that it will fall or collapse on itself. And you'll see once that happens, it'll see, it'll, it'll be uh, very obvious. So coming out of the eye, maybe more viscoelastic. You can imagine, it's a tremendous amount of phaco energy inside this eye. Now let's see what the surgeon's doing, kind of maybe loosening it up a little bit, rotating it more, trying, trying to flip the bowl up. Again, I show you this because we want to have a complete library, so we have all techniques shown there. So bowl it out is going to come up when you go to Cataract Coach and use that search engine there. It'll say, okay, bowl it out technique, this is what it is. Now you know. This is not something I tend to teach people, and I don't recommend you do it. But again, we want to have a complete library here. And you can just see just how far we've come in nuclear fractus techniques to be able to get the nucleus out much faster than this. You know, when I was a resident 25 years ago, there were attendings who did this technique. But the crazy part was, even when I was a resident, Fico Chop was around. It was invented in 1995. Nagahara, right? So it's interesting that some didn't want to adopt it and wanted to stick with this bowling out technique. And apparently some people do it to this day. But there it is, finally getting this nucleus done. Woo, that was a lot of work. Remember, check out that podcast everywhere where you find podcast services. I promise it will make you an absolutely more successful ophthalmologist. Check it out.